Carolina with my co-host Natalia. This is the Palma 3. We had just been informed this morning that there had been an earthquake in California with a big number of 6.4 magnitude. Isn't that very awakening? It sure is. I mean, I know if I was awakened during my beauty rest, because of course you don't always wake up looking this beautiful unless you want to look like this. Let me see. Um, um, I think you're getting pretty off track here. <laughs> oh, of course you're right. But anyway, of that's if that was me, I would have been terrified. <laughs> okay, thanks for your um, guest opinion. Now we take it away to... <laughs> Thank you, Brianna and Natalia. As we all should know, earthquakes are no joke. Here is an earthquake diagram. As you can see here is the epicenter. Right here is the focus and over there is the fault line. These three things can cause an earthquake. Now we head to Brianna for some fun facts on how these things can cause an earthquake. Take it away, Thank you, Kenneth. I will also be talking about some causes and effects. An earthquake is a national disaster where the earth crust shakes and cause, caused by the lithosphere making seismic waves. The worst damage in an earthquake is the epicenter. The epicenter follows the focus single to make the shake of the earthquake. The focus is the main event. <laughs> And the fault line is where it all happened. Now we will be going to Natalia with some interviews about that earthquake in California. Take it away, Natalia. Thank you, Brianna. Right now, I'm going to be talking to Brian and Tobin, who were victims during the earthquake. Brian, will you tell us what happened with you first? All right, I was I was going to getting the groceries. I was getting the milk, and what happened was this. I know huge you got children. Wow, good for you. All right, this huge tremor came. All of the milk was falling. It was hitting people. And it was a 4.6 magnitude earthquake. It was crazy. The glass was shattering and everything was just rumbling. Wow, okay, so I was going down to the cupcake shop and when I entered there, there was a robbery going down. It was really scary. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna die. Then an earthquake came out of nowhere and then the light fell on this guy and then now he's a superhero who's running around electrocuting people. <laughs> That's why you don't invite me to do these sort of things. Thank you! Thank you for that lovely um, input. Um. Thank you, Tobin and Brian, for your really great answers. Now I'm going to be talking about the Richter scale. The Richter scale is a scale to measure how big the earthquake was and what impact was it making. Here are some safety tips to help you make sure that you make something happen. I'll be talking about all these major U.S. earthquakes that have struck the U.S. One of them are the San Francisco, California earthquake on April 18th, 1906. It was a 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck San Francisco and remains one of the most devastating earthquakes in the history of California. It caused a total of 3,000 deaths and $524 million money lost in property, according to the um, currency of U.S. and 1906. The shaking was felt throughout California and in the parts of Nevada and Oregon. And another earthquake is the New Major Region earthquake. It happened in 1811 through 1812. So it wasn't so recent. It was over 200 years ago, I mean, that's two centuries. It was between December 16th and March 15th, and the series of devastating earthquakes struck the interior of the continent of the United States. This series defined the new major seismic zone, named after the new major 
Missouri, which was the town closest to the epicenter of the earthquake sequence. During the three-month period, the area was shaken by more than 100 earthquakes, among them a cluster of very large events and an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.3 magnitude on December 16, 1811, another with a magnitude of 7.1 on January 23, 1812, and the largest with a magnitude of 7.7 .7 on February 7. 1812. Those are two major earthquakes that happened in 1906 and 1812 through 1811. Now we will be go back to Kenneth about t interviewing other people. Hello, we will be talking about our safety tips about earthquakes. When you're in an earthquake, make sure you crawl under a table that's, a, that's sturdy so you won't fall or the table won't fall on you if it's or not sturdy. Or another, like a bed, like something that can really hold up stuff for furniture. Now, and make sure to stay away from glass windows while doing a really strong Earthquake like a above eight point six or above six point magnitude. Also, stay away from walls and outdoors. It will not be that safe for you because again, though of course we all know the windows would shatter, glass would go all everywhere, and then the walls could fall over and just hit you. So it's best that you go somewhere like a table, like she said, or a bed. Mm -hmm. That's safety tips with me and Natalia. And that is all for our news. Palm of three. We it's hope you enjoyed watching. We had a great news record and we will now be showing the bloopers. Bloopers and the ending. ending. But I have one more question for you guys. Like I said, thank you for watching. But again, what would you do in this situation after you watched our video? What would you do? Comment Think about it. On our channel. Yep, 12. Channel, channel 12. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Palmer Dogs. We do, we do, we do. Hello, Miss Compton's class, fourth period science class. Oh, well, we started. Thank you. Thank you, kid. <laughs> Thank you, Kenneth. I will also be talking about some causes and effects and earthquake and earth and <laughs> All right, so I was out. Well, I was Yeah, I forgot my script.